you make your own luck, you make your own uh, make your own course by the hard work you do and and, and the men you got around you and what you buy into. The timing of the pass, just perfect. Worrying thing for the world of rugby as Richie just giggles to himself is that there is depth in this squad and it only gets better. To be kept of a bunch of men like that, uh, we've got a huge privilege. We've got a great mix of um, youth, young guys that are coming with sheer enthusiasm and talent everything that you, you'd expect from those young fellas and we had, a, had a, a good bunch of men that have been around for a long time that understood what Test Rugby is all about, understood what it took and had the skills and the desire and the, I, I guess the, the thing that ticks under the, under the chest to uh, direct the team the way we wanted and uh, you put that together and you get a pretty special bunch. Uh, yes, I think he is probably the greatest All Black we've ever had, meaning Richie and Dan's a close second. Um, and the only thing that probably separates them is, is uh, one's a flanker and you, know, you shouldn't play 148 or 49, is it? 48 test matches as a flanker, like that's unheard of. You know, the, the opportunity will come for someone else now to try and be better than him. He is the greatest all back. I've said that for years. If you think in the longevity of him and his position and the way that he's played and dominated that position for such a long period of time, I don't think we'll see another Richie McCaw. People will be saying, oh, there's always another one coming up. I don't think we'll see someone who has had such an influence on the All Blacks like he has over the period of time. And just as important, his leadership and what he's created amongst this group is something that the All Blacks are going to feed off and believe in for a long, long time.